Hello, my good friends. Uh, today I am doing a video for the Complete Oblivion walkthrough, but instead of the usual commentary, I am actually doing this live, so hopefully I'll be able to keep things interesting throughout, hopefully I'll be able to keep information coming throughout the video, because I, I find that when I do the commentaries after I've done the gameplay, every thought and idea I've come up with while playing kind of slips away for when I try uh, doing the commentary afterwards. So to fix that, I'm going to try to do this live today, so let's see what we can do. Uh, I just got the uh, Volendrong Warhammer in the last video, so I need to stop at my house nice and quick because it weighs a good fortune of, like, weight. <laughs> So let's head on over to the Imperial City waterfront. Hopefully the loading screens don't take too long. I installed this game to my hard drive in hopes that it would make the loadings faster. And it does, but sometimes they still take ages. So we'll just see what happens. And I'm going to pull my laptop closer in hopes of making my mic louder. Hola! Okay, so... Uh, like I said, loading, taking a little while, there we go, turn around, and on over this way, go for a walk, yee, look at my glow, I have no idea why I just glowed like that, but that was pretty cool. Alright, so now that I'm here, that loading screen was fast. Why can't they all be like that? That would be awesome. It, it appears I lost my hatred's heart also. Not sure why, but it just disappeared. I've still got the, uh, not hatred's heart, hatred's soul, my bad. I've still got the arrows, but for some reason my the bow itself is just gone. I don't know when I lost it, but it kind of sucks. <laughs> Oh, I wish I still had it. That's that, that is the bow to use. But whatever. I've got my broken gold brand. I really need to fix this. I've got the chill rend. Got the dawn fang. Still got all that stuff. But anyway, right now I'm using the shadow rend. Put the volundrung away. Uh, is there anything in here I might want to make use out of? Look at that. 60 pounds. Fucking bullshit. And this is a heavy-ass katana. I just realized that not too long ago. But whatever. That's all I needed to do. So now, today I have neglected to say that we are going to do the Ebony Blade. Which is basically like the sister weapon of Goldbrand, in a way. That's how I look at it. Now, let's see if I can remember where to find the shrine for this one. I'm pretty sure it's over by here, but we'll need to... Oh, wait, right, I need to come here anyway, because I need to get a spell for this quest. Yes. <laughs> Alright. It's a good thing that I thought about that. Messing with my computer. Oh, alright, I, I got it. I got the legend now. So, right now, I need to be inside the cité, because I need to get a spell from someone in there, so let's just warp inside, because I'm lazy and I don't want to look for the gate. Whatevs. For some reason I feel really short. And there's my blade glow again, not sure why. Oh crap, am I in the right place? Yeah, I'm in Shaden Hall. This is right. Then where am I? I think I went to the wrong gate, so I'm gonna have to walk over here a bit. Now because of this is a live commentary, this is probably gonna end up being a long tutorial. But it seems like people don't really mind watching long tutorials because A, they can skip around if they feel like it, and B, it's more informative that way. 
So, okay, I know where I am. There we go. So yeah, it, ju it just seems that way. Uh, do I have the key? I do not think I have the key. I'm hoping I have the key. Grr! I don't have the fucking key. You suck. Alright, so we're gonna walk around. Have I been in here yet? Oh, wow, perfect. Break my way in. So apparently I'm actually right in the point of the quest where I had to come here anyway, so now I'm actually multitasking. That's a bonus. It sucks though that I don't have the key to make this nice, short, quick, easy. It's worth my way around. Here we are. What is the color of night? Uh, sanguine, my brother. Now let me in, because I have to buy something. I need to buy a spell to help me out with a quest. So on and so forth. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you say already. Now. Oh, cool, free armor. Uh, I don't really need to talk right now. This way training room. I think he is in here. That appears to be a false proposition. Where is he? That is not him. He must be here then. <coughs> oh, is it? I do not think I am going the right way. Oh, crap rat. Giant rat. Is this him? Yes, this is him. There we go. Let us speak then. I'm looking for this. Alright, now the reason I bought that is because uh, Ebony, the Mafala Shrine quest, which gives you Ebony Blade, requires stealth. You need to kill two people and then stealthily place some items in certain areas. So the best thing you can possibly do is grab an an invisibility spell and just kind of tr trot along and do whatever. It's the easiest way to do it personally because I'm a mage and having high magic means I can do easy things like this. And besides it allow me to work on my sneaking skills a little bit. Sneaking. Teabagging. Alright so now that I have that we need to get the offering for the shrine. And to get the offering for the shrine, I'm going to head off to the Imperial City. Uh, pretty much the number one place I always check for these quests is the main ingredient, because the main ingredient tends to keep a large assortment of items ranging on your level. I should probably stop doing that. Uh, go to the good map, and head into the market district. Okay, so this is already gone for almost 10 minutes, which is kind of surprising because of the fact that, well, I haven't really done anything yet. All I've done so far is buy a useful spell, I'm on the way to get the ingredient, which is required for um, sacrifice and I've dropped off some stuff to make some space. That's about all I've done. Speaking of making space, am I set on that? Uh, 252, yeah, I'm off, I'm, I'm freaking set. Sorry for the stutter. Um, 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 I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
You may have freed the slaves, but Chuck is everybody's master. Main ingredient. Alright, so now what we need is Nightshade. Nightshade is an extremely common item around the map. It's pretty easy to find just walking along. But personally, I like saving as much time as possible and buying my stuff. So let's see. There it is, Nightshade. And it's extremely cheap. And as you saw there, him having seven of, seven of them comes in high quantities and it's really easy to get. You can find them in a few locations. Like, I'm almost positive that you can find a few on the wall right in this general direction. Uh, in this general area, there's a stone wall along this path, and it has like five or six nightshade plants on them. So I hope that helps you if you just want to do it the good old fashioned way. So now on to the shrine, you gotta go find it, it is over in this general direction, so I'm gonna fast travel to Frostfire Glade so I can get as close as possible, because I have not yet found it in the past. Alright, so let's see what I can do. Oh, th uh, big thing. The required level for this quest is, in fact, 15. So if you are not level 15 yet, then get to level 15. And if you are level 15 or higher, then I highly recommend this quest. Because the blade is strong, it's a good looking katana. I'm not a fan of the enchantment, but it, it's still good and it's still useful. I just don't make too much use out of what the enchantment is. I'm pretty sure it's damage magicka or drain magicka or some kind of effect like that. It's a, I'm almost positive it's a drain effect, but I don't know. I haven't looked at the specs for it in a while. But it's a very nice weapon to have and collect, and it's pretty much like the soul sister of Ebony Blade. Jump the log, Jesus. My god. It's, but yeah, it's pretty much like the sister of uh, Goldbrand, so it's nice to have it. Simply for the fact of having Goldbrand's opposite. Can you die? There's more. Ah! Leave me be! Thank you. Alright, it's an, gonna make a nice little heal. Use my magic. Speaking of which, before... I forget. Let's see. I should find it. Oh, hey, I just realized I still got all these. Alright. Anyway, uh, Deathly Visage. I should replace it with. I do not make use out of any of these. So let's just put it down there. And try it out. Let's see what happens. Now, sadly, it's not as good as the spell I have on my main character. On my main character, I have the best invisibility spell in the game, which gives... Oh, there's the town that the quest takes place at, so we're getting close. But the spell on my main character... It uses a fair amount of magicka, but it lasts about five time, uh, four times longer than this spell. It lasts for two minutes, 120 seconds. So I find it to be very useful. I just canceled it early. Oh, a uh, quick word of advice, if you use an invisibility spell but you want to cancel it early before you're actually meant to, all you gotta do is press the action button, which is A, and it just cancels it out for you. That's just a nice little tool tip. We got a cave down over there, Harm's Folly. Oh, I know this place, Harm's Folly. Pretty sure a uh, different quest takes place here, don't really remember that. But yeah, no, that's not the place. Where is my location? It is somewhere in this general location. But it is taking its time being difficult. Okay, let's see. We've got all this. Oh, so I went the wrong way. It's actually right over here. Alright, so we're going to go back to Frostfire Glade, because I'm an idiot, and we're going to try this again. Alright, so let's see. 
It is pretty much directly south of me from this point. Watch, it's going to pop up on my mini-map like right now and just spite me for going in the wrong direction because I'm retarded. Oh, hey, wolf. What up? What up, G? <laughs> I should teabag you. This part is, it says I'm hidden. Sneak attack? Ha! Win! Oh. Get some. Yep, there's the sign. The hell. That's win. Alright, so we're gonna continue along the path. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow, oh, I was expecting damage. Huh, that's more win. <laughs> that's a puppy chasing a dog for a doll. Win. It's a puppy chasing a puppy for a ball. What cute. Cute. Cold touch. Just kind of perching it. Ugh. Hello there, Mephala. How are you? Alright. So here's Quest Woman. After all the stuff that I've done, I should make a nice quick little save. See what time it is. Oh, winning! As I said, you've got to be nice and sneaky for this. So we're going to engage the quest. Uh, this town is right off around this hill in the distance. So uh, the locations for these quests are usually right in the general ballpark. They don't make you travel across the map for anything other than the ingredient offering. Usually no more than that. So, it's just a word of advice, I should probably stop jumping so I can get back my fatigue level. I'm just gonna span the mountain, this will take a little while. Cause yo s no fast. Can I climb? Perhaps? Oh, here's grass, I should be able to make it up here. Bam. Alright, so we're just gonna follow this path, get to the mountain, uh, get to the place, which is pretty much just right across the street, literally. Get out of my face! Text message. So we're gonna climb the hill now. This is the road. Up. Whoa. While I'm thinking about it, I I usually keep that there. And in place we're gonna find ease burden. Right below it. There we go. Alright. I heavily that's the way I have it on my main character, and I heavily prefer keeping everything similar. So I'm just gonna keep that the way I need it. Alright, here's the town. Pretty much here now. Gonna go invisible. Just be safe. Gonna save up on the hill just outside, so I don't have to go walking all the way again. Uh, this is what I call strategic saving, and I do a lot of it. So I hope you get used to it pretty fast. Boom. 
Leaker's Way. So let's just duck down in the corner, grab some healing, throw back the invisibility. Thank God I've got fast mag uh, magicka recovery, otherwise this might be semi-annoying. And I'm pretty sure I have to talk to them. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to talk to these the people in this town to figure out who exactly are the two family friends, uh, two family leaders. So I think it's safe to say I can go on invis, wait about six hours, so it's about ten. Because that's when pretty much every activity is up and running. So we're at the 20 minute mark now. 21 minute mark, actually. Alright, so let's get moving. Here's somebody. You smell of death. Yes, I've been conjuring dead things. Many years ago, this town was settled by Oak, the Bleaker. Soon after, Reynald Dalvalu and his family. There we go. That's what I needed to know. Wizard. Easy kill. Just gotta sneak attack him in the ass. I don't need rumors. I just I don't need rumors, I just need information. So let's see, here's one of them. My guess is this is the wizard. Hello. Hail, traveler. That'd be correct. Troll Ufgar leads the Ulfgar clan. He is a fierce warrior. All that good day. So now I've got to figure when would be a good time to kill both of them. Because this guy is clearly standing in the way. So Bleaker's goodwill way. Shut up, phone. What's new with you? Here we are. I saw a mud crab a couple of days ago. Welcome to I Elite. Colovia is a Oh, what the hell? <sighs> I am terribly sorry for the phone, but anyway, uh, there is the people. So now that I've got their locations on the minimap, I think it's safe to say Hi there. that I can wait until it's nighttime again. So let's wait about 12 hours. That should pretty much set me straight. Okay, so now they're both chilling in their houses. Who should I go for first? I'll go for Ulfgar. Oh, I thought it was locked. Nah, just goes to show how much I was paying attention. Appears we've got him, but I thought I saw another life form. Ah, whatever. I, w I should make this quick and clean, so let's see what the strongest one handed weapon I have is. Uh, Umbra. That'll do perfect. Get my combat bonus for sneak attack kill. There we go. Keep out the invisibility. I have no idea why I just recasted it, but whatever. 
Sneak out of the house. I don't need to sneak. But where is... Here we are. Is he, they're the only living things in these areas. Six times damage. That's effing great. Perfect. What's this? Nah, I don't need it. Alright, so I've got everything I need for the two men. So now I just need to step on out, take his dagger, uh, take his dagger, stick it into the corpse of uh, Prawl Ulfgar, and I need to see what I can find in this dude's place that I can use to implicate the other man. So let's see, what do we got around here? We got a guy to, ooh, what's this? Ooh, winning. All right. So let's see, we got perfect. And now I need, just need to put the ring on the other man and we is all good. All while under the cover of night, so nobody knows a thing. Even though I've been opening so many freaking doors, it's amazing that no one's seen or heard or anything. It's kind of stupid, but whatevs. It's not my problem. I'm just the messenger of death. <laughs> anyway, all right, now that that's set and done, I should wait until it's daytime again. And... There you go. Anyway, uh, did I get any bounty for that? Because it would really kind of suck if I did. Uh, I did not. My infamy is a little higher, but who cares about that? Speaking of which, I need to know what is my armor. Oh, it's almost there, actually. I need to get that up later. Anyway, now that I've got all that settled, you just need to wait until it is daytime again. So it is 12 now, so let's wait 10 hours. And then you've just got to inform someone that both of them have died because of the other family. And just head back to Mafala's place and you'll be set. So let's see who I can find out. Ah, here we go. These are troubled times. Oh, what's this? What's this? We got, we got peeps fighting, peeps fighting over nothing. Cool. Whatevs. Anyway, once you've done that, these guys will all fight each other because they're pissed off at each other for messing with each other. And it's getting kind of laggy. I'm not sure why. Damn, he's getting gang banged. Alright, anyway, once you've done all that, just fast travel back, I can remove that, just fast travel back over to Mephala's place, and finish up, and you will be awarded with the Ebony Blade. Lens flare. The follower is pleased with the strike I've caused. She has awarded me with the ebony blade. Hell yeah. So here's the ebony blade. Bing. 
That is totally not the Ebony Blade. I am sorry. Yes. Yes. This is the Ebony Blade. Like I said, it's a nice katana. I, I really like the look of it. It glows green because of the enchantment it has, and it is absorb health, 8 points on strike, and silence for 10 seconds on strike. This is the version I got. I believe it is the best version you can possibly get because of my level, 26. Between levels 25 and 90 are usually the levels you can get the best leveled items at. So if you're ever going to get these items, I would recommend getting it between that time span so that you can still make good use out of it, but it is at its best possible effectiveness. Um, silence is useful against mage casters. Absorb health is almost always useful in some aspect. But the weapon itself, as you can see, it's got a nice neon green glow if you watch the hilt. And it's generally just a nice looking blade. It's like a, almost a pure white katana, especially like right here in the sunlight with the reflection on it. I still personally prefer gold brand, but it, it's a good weapon. You can't, you can't go wrong with it. It's got a good damage rating. It's fast. It's fairly light, slightly lighter than uh, gold brand is. It's worth a lot. And it's got a decent enchantment. So if you're looking for a nice weapon or you're just trying to add to your Oblivion collection, this is a great addition. So I hope today's tutorial has been at least amusing or useful. My name is Air Solstice and thank you for watching, I guess, yeah. So now I'm just gonna save. Hit the caption module and stop the recording.